Hey everybody, this is Tracy from Tracy's Art and Craft. How are you all today? So I'm here with a little bit of a craft along um, just to bring me back and get me back in the flow. Um, so sorry I've been away and I'm really, really appreciative of everyone that's stuck around and been patient with me while I've been super busy. So I've got a little while to myself. I'm just going to quickly snap up that opportunity while the children are being quiet to do a little craft along with you guys. Um, so what I have here is I have a pot here full of um, digitals that I have cut out and they could be you know things like pockets, journaling cards, postcards, um, various things and they all need to complete them because they all go with the journal that I'm about to make or that I've made. I've made one I'm about to make another. I need them all complete and so I can fill up my journals and get them out there for you guys to see. So, yeah, I'm just going to be grabbing a few of these bits and just decorating them, making them my own. Sorry, my desk is a little damp because I gave it a little clean from when I was crafting last time. Um, yeah, and just see how that goes. I've got me a cup of tea. I am all set to enjoy myself. So I'm going to start with this pocket. I'm going to try and tell you who made them. I don't want this to get too wet pull over some paper or some description for me to craft on for a moment so I've got a big pile of papers that I've just printed off all beside me all ready for me to um get making my journal so yeah this one is shabby dabby doodars I want to say it's her pink ladies I think it's her pink ladies collection I am not affiliated with the artists that I use um, as in I pay for everything myself um, the only one I am slightly affiliated to is happiness and crafting and that's because I'm part of their design team at the moment so yeah this will make a cute little um, this will make a cute little like a little pouch that you can just a floating pouch if you like so yeah um when i get the printables i tend to print them cut them out um and not really make anything with them um you know when you get those printable ephemeras and then when i need them i'll pull them out and then i'll just do this i'll do a mass sort of decorating of them putting them together, decorating them. Um, if I find any journaling cards I like to go with them, then I pop that inside and that can go aside ready to fill the journal. And then when it comes to filling the journal, we just put on whatever it is we want on the, um, you know, on the page and decorate the page up and then pop these pockets in. journaling cards in as we see fit let's get my bone folder out so I can give this a real good squash and get a crisp line so what have we been up to well I have I'm sorry if you can hear the squeaking of my printer by the way I, I can't move it at the moment there's too much stuff all around me but it does keep creaking whenever I move um so yeah I have taken the kids to London. We went to London. That was a lovely, lovely day. Oh, the weather was perfect. Um, we don't usually get good weather here around Easter time. Usually it's just rain, rain and more rain. Um, sometimes we've even had snow. That's, that's a really weird one. So we don't usually get good weather here, but we had the perfect weather. It wasn't too hot. It wasn't cold. It was just, oh, it was just lovely. Absolutely lovely. So we thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed ourselves there. Um, we had a good time. We went to London Dungeons, which my kids love anything creepy, gory and all that sort of stuff. And weirdly enough, they just kept choosing us to call out to, you know, sort of they do this sort of thing where they um, pull you into the acting and they just kept getting us. And my kids thought it was brilliant because I got called stupid once and by the actors and um, another time I was put into a cage um, and they just, the kids thought that was amazing. Mum was not only 
got called stupid but also was put into a cage so to them that was just brilliant so yeah they had loads and loads of fun the frames are also mostly shabby dabby doodars in here so i put all my i've started reorganizing my things so all my frames are in one i was doing it so that um all my digital artists were in one you know so all shabby dabby doodars was in one all of G from Happiness and Crafters was in another, all of Artie Mazes was in another, but that's not working out for me because I'm not using most of my digital artists, I'm just picking up one packet and just using from that. Um, and so that's not, I've got to go back to how I was doing it, which was all my frames in one, all my tickets in another, because otherwise I'm just missing out loads that I'm not using and it's just sitting there not getting used. So, um, yeah, you'll see that I've changed things up a little bit. So anyway, yes. Um, so yeah, we had a great time there. And then after that, we went to go see, because that's right near Big Ben. So we went to go see Big Ben. Um, sorry, just think about what I wanted to do there. Um, sometimes you can just take um, your frames off or you can cut them down once you've took them off, whatever you want. I want to cover that bit up so um yeah we went to go see Big Ben um, we took some pictures by the Thames um, all that good stuff we had ice cream we got lost trying to find our way around which actually was fun so you know we had a good time and then um, from there we drove around as well because we'd driven to London it is expensive to drive to London but you know, it was just a bit of luxury and my husband likes to drive. He doesn't like public transport very much. So we did drive there. We drove around London a little bit. And then, yeah, came home. So that was nice. And then the very next day we went to a local beach near ours. Um, it's a really, really lovely beach. The children absolutely enjoy it. They love that beach. We took kites. We flew kites on there and free frisbees and the kids had fun home gallivanting on the beach and me and my husband just relaxed and sat back and just chilled out i just have a drink sorry yeah so they really really loved it they had such a whale of a time which is really nice um So yeah, that's kind of pretty much all that's gone on. Um, other than that, today I have been sorting out my craft junk. Which, oh man, it's gotten to me today. It's made me grumpy. <laughs> I haven't enjoyed it it's one little bit. It's not been fun. Um, just because I've got to move things around. But the ephemera, I've got a lot of it. So it's not exactly fun to move it around and things. But it's getting there, it's getting there. And once I have finished my little move arounds and got things how I want them and like them, I will do for you guys a little craft room tour, which will be really nice. Um, you get to see how I work that into my family life because it's obviously in my living room. So we split, for those that don't already know, we split the living room in half. We don't get many guests around our house. We tend to visit our family. And that's not deliberate. I wouldn't mind people coming around. It's just kind of how it happens. Um, so, sorry, I'm just looking for a word that I want to use. Hold on. So, yeah, um... We tend to go around family, not many family come around here, not a deliberate act, it just happens that way. Um, so we decided we would, instead of having our living room as like a, you know, invite into others room, if you like, um, we decided that we would turn it into a room that's suitable for us. Um, because, you know, your home is supposed to be more suitable for you, isn't it, really, not to show others just one second 
I'm so sorry, I was going to sneeze. I had to sneeze, I'm so sorry. So anyway, yeah, the living room is supposed to be simple for us, isn't it? So that's what we did, we decided to make it simple for us. So half my family um, are gamers, and the other half are, well, we're a bit both really, to be honest, um, but the other half are crafters or artists. So, um, for instance, my middle son, he is a bit of both. He is both a gamer and he loves art. So he uses my craft area too when it comes to him having to do his art homework and things. My daughter is both a gamer and an artist. And so is my older daughter. And then my other two sons are, because I've got five children, my other two sons are gamers and my husband is. So we've got half the room set up for gaming and comfort and it's relaxing. And then the other half is like my craft area. It's madness and mayhem <laughs> as craft areas tend to be. So yeah, that is, it's a little crazy over this end of the room <laughs> at the best of times. That's too wide. So I'm just going through my fabric, trying to decide what I want to use next. I think I wanted something down the side. Oh, I'm wishing I made this into a ruffle. That would have been perfect. I haven't got my ruffles with me. Aha, what about this? Oh, that would be nice. So I have so many, um, so many laces and things. It's, it's insane, really. I don't need this much. So yeah, um, so yeah, I'd love to do a craft room tour for you guys. I've just tried to get my craft room how I like it at the moment. Um, I'm going through a bit of a transition. I think we all have to go through transitions from time to time, don't we? We all have to have change and things. So the busyness is almost over. I am filming this on the Saturday of which this will go up. So I'm filming this and it's currently almost midday. Um, I've still got to edit it and put it up. So it won't be up till late today. Um, at least here in the UK, all over the world, it's different times anyway. But Tomorrow I'm going to be filming a lot because my children are out tomorrow. They are at their grandmother's. So I will be home getting loads and loads filmed. And then... Yeah, I should catch up. Um, I've got some exciting stuff to show you next week. Um, so that will be good for you to look out for next week. It's going to be far more interesting than it has been on here. <laughs> So I'm going through my fabric pot again, trying to find something, anything, what do I want to use? Do I want to use some flowers maybe? Let's pull over the flower trim. I love this stuff. They're never just quite the right colour are they? I don't have any other colours other than this, it's quite expensive really. So I didn't want to splash out on it. That looks a closer match. Let's see if we can um, cut this down a little bit to go through the middle. So this is a wired ribbon. So um, if I don't want it stiff or I want it smaller, I could just cut through it. I always do. Plus it allows it to fray. I like um, my ribbons fraying up and things. So what I do with the rest of this, okay, so this um, I will usually put in rubbish, but you can make things with this because it's really, really bendy. And so you can wrap things and whatnot in it. And I'm about to make some dangles and things in the next few coming videos. So you will see that coming up. 
um and i will probably use this so i'm just going to make a little collection of those this is the same again you can wrap things in it but you could also because there's a little bit of fabric on here you could also put that onto snippet rolls and things so i will be collecting those up just a little bit just for a little bit just because um i plan on using them a little i want to dob some ink on here and just dull this down a bit that should bring it closer to the colour of yeah that's better stuff as well what I do is I have up here let me just show you I have up here a whole bunch of little snips of fabric really tiny pieces and these are what I use for snippet rolls like this was a really long one but I will probably just cut this up with just tiny pieces um, and this is what I use for snippet rolls all these little bits and pieces so I collect them in a little glass bowl <clears throat> pop them on a shelf and you know they're there collecting ready for when I want to do that when I'm in the mood to do it that's when I do it so I pretty much like that I'm thinking I want a little flower or something here and I know I've got some I think I've got some in here Some of these are not as um don't take as long to create and craft up because some of them just need backing like some of these cards i'm not going to decorate them some of them i like to leave plain um, and i'm sure lots of you do the same Yeah, those little bits of fabric, um, there are lots of uses for them, not just snippet rolls. Um, sometimes you just want a tiny piece like this piece here. Sometimes you just want a tiny piece to decorate up an area. So, you know, that's why I have such a big pot and keep collecting them, because I do use them. We use scraps in junk journaling more than we use anything else. So scraps are a supply. So before you throw something away, just think about how you could use it also think about where you could store it because if you've got no room to store it you probably shouldn't be storing it and um, that's just going to lead to collecting too much now do i want a little something on here maybe just a little something there um i honestly can't think what to use maybe one of my little bows these are from Shabby Dabby Doo Doo again I'm not deliberately using them um, I'm not deliberately using stuff from her it's just it's happening that way I like the neutral one <coughs> it's just um, that's where I get my bows from is her because I love these little paper bows they're so adorable I mean obviously I like proper bows as well the paper bows are just so adorable and they're so quick and easy to use as well so yeah i'm just going to glue here and oh my glue's dried up on me that's weird it was fine a second ago just give a little bit of decor to the back 
And there we go, there's one piece made. So I'll put that aside. I have here this one, which I actually just want back. So I'm gonna pop into my drawer of wonder. Let's see what I've got here. I've got some of this card. They're too small. Sorry, I'm just trying to find the right size. Here we go. So I have here some tea stained card. It's really dark tea stained. Um, I don't. I stained it really dark. This one. This batch. I currently have on the go actually some um, avocado. I've never done avocado dyeing with papers before. Um, mainly because we don't eat avocados in this house but I did find a smoothie recipe that meant that the avocado oh I've got two bits there that meant that the avocado would be um like you wouldn't be able to taste it so I wanted to give it a try because apparently it makes everything a bit more smooth and creamy and it did it was okay um I could still tell it was there though and I didn't end up liking it but, you know, you've got to try these things, give it a go. There's definitely a blockage in there. Gonna have to take this apart and clean it, I think. Let's try that. There we go. No, it blocks up again. Oh, that might have got it. Yeah, that got it. Sometimes you can pull out, pull out the blockage. Put the glue in there. Oh, and do you know what I didn't do? I didn't grab one of my dry wipes. So when you're using wet wipes or dry wipes, I really, really encourage you to look for ones that are plastic free. Um, they do biodegrade a little quicker. So currently I'm using up these wipes that I'm not sure if they're plastic free and I don't think they are. But the less plastic we're bringing into this planet, the better. Um, so little education, little, little food for thought there. But plastic actually poisons us. Um, it's doing a lot of damage to us. There's a lot of chemicals in it. And Every time we recycle plastic, those chemicals get stronger, not weaker. So, in, you know, I'm not, I'm not a hippie or anything. <laughs> hippie. But, um, yeah, I just, I just think that plastic is the um, evil of all. And there's so much of it in the world. So if you're going to, if you've got plastic, try to make the most out of it. Try to use it as much as possible. And, um save it from going in the bin i mean all these things like these plastic tubs i've got and things i've had them for ages and ages and i don't throw them away i just keep making more use for them right, what i want to do is cut down these sides just a little more because they're a bit wide on the edges this piece we're definitely gonna need that later I should really check the time shouldn't I I'll start you in a minute stop you and start you in a second Let's just get these corners off there we go hopefully you won't get cut off now so that is pretty much all I'm gonna do to that one so I don't want them all layered up, I like to have some of them plain. I am not going to ink it just yet, I'm going to decide when I put it into the journal whether I want to, just in case I want to use a different colour ink, so we'll leave that one. Let's have a look, see what else we've got in here. I did have some tags and things. Ah, here's a couple. These are cute. I'm just going to grab one of my tea dye papers. Or the coffee dyed ones, whichever. I have just spilt my papers everywhere. Cool. 
I pulled one out of the drawer and all of them came with. So this is a coffee dyed, um, like an invoice paper or receipt paper. Perfect. I'm just backing these because it will give them a nice colour and a nice texture. Um, so what I do is I use a little bit of glue stick and then just around the edges I add a little bit of tacky glue. It just helps to make sure it stays on. If I moved that over I would have had more room on this paper I could do quite a few more. But you know, that's me not paying attention to what I'm doing. I think I've got a few more of these in that pot. So I'm just going to have a little look and see if I can find any more like these small ones. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to be doing also a video soon of um, using thin paper again, thin one side of paper. Like I say, I've got lots, so I do print on copy paper and things that's really thin. I'm going to be doing that soon. I've got so many ideas as well for future videos. I've got an idea for making some background papers, um, you know, by, by hand from scratch. I thought would be... A nice idea for everybody. Because then um Yeah, then if you don't have any patterned papers or whatever, maybe you've got the supplies and you can make your own, or maybe you just want to make your own because um remember um your own artwork is copyright free. So you've got no copyright infringements, you can scan it, you can take pictures of it, you can do whatever you want with it because it's your own work. Hence why I like to use my collages a lot as printables and things. I've got some nice printables coming up, um, some nice vintage advert printables and some other um, vintage picture printables, things like that coming up so they'll be nice and I think I'm gonna have to stop filming in a little while because my husband just come home hang on a minute I'm just gonna let him know I'm filming Hello. he knows we're good so um yeah, so everything you want is down in the description box. You know the drill. Um, my store's down there. My newsletter's down there. Everything is down there. So, not now. I'm sorry. My husband seemed to think there was an emergency where there was none. Um, <laughs> so, anyway, I was trying to sign off while I finish these. So, we'll get back to it. Um, yeah, where was I? So yeah, my store's down there. Um, all the digital artists that I've used today and that I use in, you know, all my videos, they're all down there. So do go check those out. Um, my newsletter comes out once a month on the 1st and you won't get spammed. It only comes out once a month. You'll only get that once a month. But it's just a way for me to give you a free digital. So if you did want a free digital then do go grab that. Um, you do have to download the digital straight away. Um, it won't be there the whole time. So you can go look at the digital and if you want it, you can download it. Um, and if you don't, you can just leave it, you know. But it won't be in the box every month, it will change. Um, so yeah. So do go and, you know, sign up for that if you want to. That's on my website, sign up for that. 
Um, and I think that is everything. Have yourselves a lovely day. I'm going to continue this and try to get these as finished as possible, get through as many as possible. And I will see you next time. Bye for now. Bye.